win at right field today, and he will hit fifth. But we'll start things off. Xander Seacrest gets the start, the senior out of Buford, Georgia, this season. Right at the knees, and kind of knew it. I think he left uh, his Alabama four-year career. Nice pitch right there, 94, just on the black, painted. Three-hole hitter, Dalton Bargo, laces this one to right. It bounces over the glove of Logan Jordan, but Bargo, before he steps aside just to get that arm right. Swing and a miss. Boy. Fantastic pitch to go to. In the top of the second inning, Xander Seacrest has looked really good. He's retired the first four, make it the first five. Struck out the side. Yeah, we had a stiff win yesterday, about 14 miles an hour. That's a beautiful comeback right there. Movement and all that kind of stuff. It's like, he's just impressive. I think maybe they learned, hey, I better keep it down. That one elevated just a touch. Line drive out to right field over the shift. Off the bat of Reese Chapman. Got him. You know, probably going to win it all, but still didn't even make it. Did he go? Yes, he did. Another strikeout for Xander Seacrest. One and, well, who have they played? Well, they played this Georgia team, which is kind of on fire a little bit. Walks and saves. Throw down to second, and safe. Got him, and the inning is over. Out to second. Underneath the diving glove of Christian Moore, and that'll be a base hit. To the right side, and that'll be a base hit. Dog's got a little something going here with one down. To left, and that is over the head of the left fielder, Dylan Dryling. Georgia trying to sneak a run home, and can't do it. But I love the fact, look at that right there. Dryling just missed it because he almost deeks him in a way, but plays it perfectly off the wall. The relay spot on. Oh, nice pickup right there by Cal Stark. Ground ball to the right side, fielded by Burke, will step on the back, so the Dogs had a chance to strike first, but Xander Seacrest gets some defensive help and gets out of that jam. Well, Kirby, there it is. There you go. That ball bounces over the wall and right. Deposited out of the stadium, so. Uh, our main thing is basically just, you know, trying to keep the ball in the ballpark. Well, how about back-to-back? Base knocks now for Tennessee. Runners at the corners. Now one is lifted in the air. Condon there to make a catch. Will this be deep enough as he charges? And the runner will hold up as that one drifted to shallow center field. That one's up and away, and it's three and one now. And the crowd called for a balk, and they got it. i tell you what, Henry Hunter not happy about it. Oh, he's going to make it, obviously, <laughs> pause right there. Oh, this ball is blistered to center field, but not enough. This will be an easy tag up and score, and the balls will now have a 2 nothing lead. Loose, you know, that is a skill that you'll learn the more you do it. Base hit there from Clayton Chadwick. Called strike three, inning is over. Yeah, I think it's I think it would go down as the 6-3 because it's the guy playing short. And this is gonna go down as an HR, as a home run. Bargo goes yard for the fourth time this year. Talking about the Chick-fil-A. But I mean, he's throwing the ball really well. He's out to left, going to drop in there for a base hit. Ooh, blister right through the shift. And 
the Vols will have them at second and third. There's a little chopper tipped off the glove. Nice play at second base from Sebastian Murillo. Swing and a miss, strikeout, out number two. Almost nine to nothing in a nine inning game. Two strikeouts, no walks last night. This could be two on his first pitch, and it is. 318. Lifts that one up in the air. Can anybody catch up to it? Inslee, yes, what a catch. Slapped to the left, and the streak is alive. Lifted out to center field. Condon on the run, and that's going to drop in for a base hit, and with two outs. Reese Chapman. Hit by Radke. That'll bring the fourth run of the game home. That ball shot out to left. That'll get one in. That'll get two in. And the balls will have them second and third. And it's now a 6 0 Tennessee lead. And tap it. Throw to first is in time, and that'll end the inning. 25 straight tournaments without a Final Four appearance continues. Now to left, and that'll drop for a base hit. Yes. Losing 6 0. Now to right. Playable there. Maurice Chapman. On Friday, Kentucky won 5 to 3. Ground ball to third. And the ball pops out. Collins can't hang on to it. Seven or something. It was something like you were like, what? This is professional pitchers. That ball is touched out to right, and it'll one hop right in front of Logan Jordan. And that'll get the seventh run home. Freshman with eight home runs, tied for first in the league with, among freshmen in home runs. A lot of stories here. Tennessee, of course, bouncing back after getting a run ruled on Friday night. And they will win this one as Sneed underhand toss. And Tennessee gets the shutout. They win it seven to nothing and win this series. Mm-hmm. <laughs>